imagine the community that you're fighting for, the community that you want to free from the shackles, the black people that you want to uplift and allow to have their voices are the same people that are putting you in harm's way. Watagwan pa watagwan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. So by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about Sasha Johnson. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Gade Philip or Gade for short. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe to the ting. For those of you that do not know who Sasha Johnson is, Sasha Johnson is a Black Lives Matter activist. She was shot in the head and left in critical condition. And she also has three children. She is a mother. I'm not gonna lie, when I read this article, I actually assumed that this was race related, all of the protests and speaking out and activist work that she's been doing and the fact that she's a very outspoken person, but I was actually mistaken. We don't actually know for sure, the public doesn't actually know for sure what actually happened. The initial statement came out on Sasha's affiliate group, taking the initiative party, and the party advises the incident happened the morning after Sasha and the organization received numerous death threats against them. TTIP is described as Britain's first black-led political party. The statement read, it is with great sadness that we have to inform our own Sasha Johnson has, sust has sustained a gunshot wound in her head. She is currently hospitalized and in critical condition. The incident happened in the early hours of the morning following numerous death threats. It continued, Sasha has always been actively fighting for black people and the injustices that surround the black community as well as being both a member of BLM and a member of Taking the Initiative Party's Executive Leadership Committee and Strong, powerful voice for our people and community. A spokesperson said that a house party shooting occurred in the vicinity of the incident and that the investigation is in the early stages. However, the report states there is nothing to suggest the incident was a targeted attack. In addition, they have no proof that Sasha has received any credible threats against her before the shooting. Now guys, you see with this article, yeah? An article like this will make you assume that it was political or race related because the main focus of the article states how she's she's an activist, part of BLM, and it's like, what else are the public to think? Another thing that I have an issue with is that why is it that somebody that because this this is this is how i see it yeah why is it that somebody that is deemed as outspoken i also saw a video where somebody accused her of being an angry black woman like why is it that people that are active in the community against corruption outspoken are seen as problematic so because of that, does that mean that her saying that she's been receiving death threats makes it not credible? Do you, got, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? It's like, why is it that because she's not a victim or she's not portrayed this victim persona, it means that something like death threats is not credible like her saying that she's been receiving death threats is not credible like that's wild to me and to even put that in an article is just like like what for like what is it for what for what for what for do you know one thing that's sad about this situation it's like this is a black woman that's out here fighting for all of us do you understand that she's fighting for all of us she's fighting for change she's fighting for a right for us to be free, free from the shackles, free from the passive, free from the bullshit, yeah? And the same community she's fighting for has put her in harm's way. Imagine the community that you're fighting for, the community that you want to free from the shackles, the black people that you want to uplift and allow to have their voices are the same people that are putting you in harm's way. Like, bro, it's wild to me. It's so wild to me that the good ones always, it's wild to me that the good ones, the ones that are fighting for us, are the ones that end up in situations like this. Now, 
It has come out that an 18 year old has been charged. It is an ongoing investigation, but I do hope that she does get justice. I do pray that she does come through and there is light and positivity at the end of the tunnel. As much as this is a disgusting circumstance, like to be able to come out of this, it would be amazing. So I'm going to speak that into existence and I look forward to seeing her come out of this. Now, there's not necessarily been any update as to whether she's recovering, she's improving, like it, all it says is that she's in critical condition and that's just sad to me, like I find that so sad, like we need to do better man, we need to do better, like what is an 18 year old doing with a gun, like what are you do? like what possible reason could you have to need a gun or to use a gun. Who are you hanging around? What company are you keeping that is encouraging this kind of behaviour? Look at the life now that you now have to live. What? You're going to be known in the prison system. You could potentially be arrested for attempted murder. Like... It's just like, it's just like, is this what, is this what people grow up to live for? Like, the fast life, the fast money, the revenge, all of that stuff. And we've got people like Sasha out here fighting for us, fighting for us to have a voice, fighting for us to be free. It's sad, it's actually sad, it's wild to me. Like, it, things like this are so wild to me. I don't, I, to be honest, I don't necessarily like to talk on, like, how I feel about, um, how I feel about, like, the black community or, like, the community that I've come from or whatever because it's, like, we've all had our, like, dark days and we all, we all, we all have been troubled in some way but, fam, we have got a long road to go down. We've taken a few steps but things like this and things like this Keep the stigma and keep the representation in the communities that we live in all this crime all this gun all this crime knife and gun violence as soon as a newspaper can grab a story and paint us out to be some kind of way they are going to do it do you not understand like i want you guys to comment down below and tell me your thoughts on this whole situation because sad is sad that was all for this mix up got it make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the ting and any any anything following on from this i will keep you guys updated